Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm at the range and we're going to test out the 257 Weatherby in factory ammo from Weatherby. So we're going to look to see if it's accurate. We're going to see if it can match the box velocities and it should be a lot of fun. The factory ammo I'm shooting today is the 100 grain TTSX. Now these are factory seconds. And for whatever reason, there's a reduced velocity. So instead of normal 3,570 feet per second, Box says this is going to be 3,500 feet per second. Now before I show you the velocities disclaimer, I am shooting at 22 degrees. And I did actually pull one of these bullets, and the, it is ball powder. So I don't think this is very temp stable. And so I'm kind of expecting the velocity to be a little bit slower. So let me show you. A average velocity of 3,439 feet per second. Let's see now how it groups. Stand it up on its Stand it up on its butt. Thanks, Steve. Stage. Yeah, between scenes, that's all there. Yeah. Having been on stage. We were interviewing um first ever group with the weatherby factory ammo 100 grain ttsx looks to be just a tad over one moa not bad i gave the 257 weatherby a break and i also brought up my brother's model 70 in 30-06 spring filled this rifle is a little picky and i'm trying some new bullets out i'm trying the nosler acubons 165 grain and i'm going to be using imr 4064 for this. This is the first group, the 30 out 6, with 49 grains of IMR 4064. First two shots looked promising. Last one was a flyer. Now it is 22 degrees outside, and I did give it a couple minutes before each shot, so I think it had time to cool down. Still not shooting great. Back to the 257 Weatherby. I'm going to shoot one more group with the factory ammo. <laughs> Some guys don't have any sense at all. All right, so my first shot with the Weatherby factory ammo was to the right. And then the last three were all within an inch. So that could have been me. I'm not sure. But factory ammo seems to be shooting around an inch. Back from the range, I just wanted to do some official measurements for my groups today. So with the factory ammo, it did just get a tad over MOA at 1.035 inches. And then my second group, if we're not counting the first shot, which I think I pulled it, uh, it was 0.945, so a little bit smaller. I'm okay with how the factory ammo did. Um, you know, it's not great, but it's, I feel like it's up to standard for it to shoot MOA. Here's that first group of the 30 out six with the 165 grain acupond. These two were within an inch and then this two inches away. So a two inch group, not good. And more disappointment from the model 70, but I did shoot some 150 grain acubons out of the model 70 and yeah, at least had two trying to group and so i might play around with the 150 grains a little bit more so 1.264 that's getting better 